Canada's free settlement services. In today's video update, we will talk about Canada offering free settlement services, but many immigrants do not know about them. According to a recent government survey, even among immigrants who are aware of settlement services, over a quarter, do not know how to obtain them. The majority of newcomers, served by Canada's government-funded settlement programs, have been shown to benefit from them, yet many do not know how to access them. Immigrants can obtain settlement assistance from both Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada and the Ministry of Immigration, Francisation and Integration for Quebec-bound newcomers well before arrival. According to the IRCC's first ever Settlement Outcomes Report, these services are genuinely beneficial. The data in the study was derived from the 2018 and 2019 Newcomer Outcomes Surveys. In all, 120,897 immigrants, who were surveyed, there were 55,370 settlement program participants, and 65,527 non-clients among them. Almost all of those who got services, thought they were beneficial, and the majority believed that these programs, aided them in their quest to settle in Canada. Timing is an important factor, in the effectiveness of settlement services, Immigrants who have already arrived in Canada, for example, will not benefit from pre-arrival assistance. Around 70% of those surveyed, who did not get settlement services claimed, they were unaware of them, and a quarter of those declared that they didn't know how to utilize them. The majority of individuals, who reported no difficulties getting assistance, on the other hand, were connected, via federally sponsored referral programs. In their first year, around 23% of arrivals used them, and the vast majority received the assistance they need. Are you wondering, how to obtain settlement services prior to moving to Canada? There are settlement programs, available that are supported at several levels of government, and can assist you even before you arrive in Canada. On its website, the IRCC lists about 1,259 people. These pre-arrival services are only available to approved permanent residents living outside of Canada, not to visitors. On a federal level, IRCC provides services to assist you in preparing to live in Canada. In-person services are available in China, India, and the Philippines, however, most have reportedly migrated online as a result of the epidemic. These agencies assist you in obtaining information about Canadian living, such as healthcare, housing, and transportation. Depending on your requirements, they can also recommend you to more specialized community services. IRCC also provides a list of services to assist you in preparing to work in Canada. These websites can assist you in finding work in Canada, writing a CV, and getting your credentials recognized. There are other resources for people working in architecture, engineering, trades, finance, technology, construction, nursing, and other fields. The federal website also includes connections to provincial settlement programs. What sort of settlement assistance does Canada provide? The many types of services may be classified into six categories. Translation, child care, and transportation are examples of support services. They are critical for people who are unable to access IRCC settlement programs. Some applicants would be unable to get settlement services if they did not have them. Needs assessments assist immigrants in determining the services they require to support their settlement journey and how to obtain them. Only approximately 23% of customers utilize them, but according to the IRCC research, more immigrants using them would help them become better linked to services. According to the study, it would also give IRCC a better knowledge of the requirements of immigrants. Information services reveal info to IRCC clients to assist them in settling. Even though most settlement service clients claim of obtaining information from friends, settlement service providers are the second most common source of information. 
The internet was the most popular source of information among non-clients, while it was the least popular among clients. Immigrants benefit from language instruction in order to improve their language abilities. The majority of IRCC's money is allocated to language instruction. It is a critical aspect of an immigrant's success in Canada. Not only does it assist immigrants to find employment and connect with locals, but it is also required for citizenship applicants to have at least a basic fluency in English and French. Employment services assist immigrants in preparing to work in Canada. Work placements, mentorship, licensing, and certification preparation, networking opportunities, job search skills and matching services, and career counseling are just a few of the long-term and short-term services available. Although employment services had the lowest adoption rate of any settlement service among clients, about 78% of users stated these services help them prepare for the Canadian labor market. Community programs assist newcomers in making new acquaintances and participating in local activities. Community services were the second least used program after job services. Approximately 60% of those who did utilize them said they met their close friends through community groups. Clients and non-clients of IRCC settlement programs reported almost comparable rates of engagement in community activities. The majority of the public were involved in religious activities, followed by school or civic, cultural, and finally sports and recreation. Our video ends here. We hope you found this video update useful. Please don't forget to support us by subscribing to our channel and share our videos with your friends and family on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. Thanks for watching today's update.